Chapter 286 Alex waved his hand as he said, Okay, don't worry. Just make sure to help me whenever I ask for your help in the future. I will not forget your contribution. Stephen quickly replied, I will never let you down. When everyone saw Alex giving the magical pill to Don Stephen, they were all shocked beyond words. Even though Don Stephen had a reputation as one of the top mobster bosses in Oris Hill, he was nothing to them. Hence, they could barely believe that Alex would not hesitate to give someone as insignificant as Stephen the pill simply because they knew each other. This. Alex really treated his own people very fairly. Stephen continued kneeling in front of Alex as he wept. Mr. Anderson, I really did not expect someone like you to even think of someone as insignificant as me at all. I am truly very grateful for your kindness. Alex smiled before he replied, Stephen, to me, everyone in this world is equal. I do not judge a person by their status or identity, but I judge a person based on their character and personality. Do you remember my classmate, Noah? In terms of status or even strength, he is definitely more inferior compared to you and your brothers. However, when he was lying in the hospital and could not even commit suicide, I still helped and protected him. Why? Simply because he is my friend. If you are my friend, no matter how low your status or identity is, I will never forget you. Stephen's heart trembled, and he could not stop the tears from rolling down his cheeks. He choked as he said, Mr. Anderson, I will do everything to the best of my ability for you in the future. Alex placed the pill in Stephen's hand before saying, if you follow me, you have to understand that you don't need to be the greatest person in this country. As long as you do everything for me sincerely and with all of your heart, I will surely protect and look out for you for the rest of my life. Alex meant what he said. He had endless wealth. He had tens of billions in cash, and his company was worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Moreover, in terms of strength, Alex could rely on them to give him extraordinary skills and strength. Therefore, as long as Stephen steadfastly followed him, he would not let him suffer. Alex's words made everyone present have even more admiration and respect for him. They were determined to follow after Alex with all of their hearts. At this time, Hazel took out a smart bracelet key before holding it out to Alex. Mr. Anderson, this is the smart bracelet key for the Bugatti Chiron Atlantic Special Edition that I have already ordered for you. You can pick up the car at the auto showroom when it is officially launched tomorrow. The ordinary Bugatti Chiron was priced at $26 million, whereas the Atlantic Special Edition was priced at $40 million. Before Alex could say anything, Matthew quickly took out another smart bracelet key before saying in a hurry, what a coincidence, Mr. Anderson. I also ordered a sports car for you, and it is waiting for you to collect it from the auto showroom. I bought you a limited edition Ferrari 250 GTO. The Ferrari 250 GTO was priced at $50 million. Both Hazel and Matthew would not have expected such a coincidence. Hazel looked at Matthew with an annoyed expression on his face before he blurted out, Matthew, why did you get Mr. Anderson a sports car just like me? Are you trying to copy me on purpose? Matthew replied confidently, why would I want to copy you? I simply thought that Mr. Anderson should be driving the best sports car in town. That is the reason why I specifically ordered the Ferrari 250 GTO for him. When Paisel saw that both of them were giving gifts to Alex one after the other, he quickly took out a yellow sandalwood box and placed it in front of Alex. Upon opening the box, there lay a very beautiful pair of vase made of porcelain. Paisel told Alex immediately, Mr. Anderson, these vases have been handed down by my ancestors ever since the Ming Dynasty, and it is one of my favorite antiques. I want to give this to you today, and I hope that you will enjoy using it, Mr. Anderson. When Faria saw everyone else giving gifts to Alex, she did not dare to fall behind since she had already received two magical pills from Alex. Therefore, she quickly took out her checkbook and wrote a cash check before offering it to Alex. Mr. Anderson, this is a cash check for $120 million. 
please accept this as a small token of my appreciation.